Welcome back strangers, friends, and everyone in between to the only game to hold true to his name, and that being the magnificent Thronefall. Now, in being a king at all, I shouldn't have to lower myself to such peasantry such as fighting. And that's why in today's challenge, we're taking a look at the empty-handed general, a leader who cannot directly attack but commands his troops with expertise. With nothing more than our charismatic tactics of strategy, can we defend against 10 increasingly stronger waves of enemies? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's by doing our best and nothing short of it. Now, this is only challenge two of 15 that have been introduced to the game in its most recent mini modes update. So if you like how these most recent challenges have gone, then please feel free to subscribe for more content just like this coming out soon. As a small creator, I appreciate every bit of it. But enough talk, giddy up. Now, starting off with, we will want to be building ourselves a keep to try to hold back these enemies. Now, right off the bat, taking a look at all the buildings that we have available to us, I'm noticing we have no towers at all. All we have is the keep. It's going to be the only thing that can actually fire a thing like a turret. So when we're going to have walls, we're going to have our barracks, and we're going to have our different types of archers that we can choose. So to start off with, we have 40 just kind of snow boys coming from the north side, and we have two ogres attacking from the south. So I think my very first two choices are going to have to be spearmen because they're really fast, they're really strong, they're really good at slowing down fast enemies, but they're not so great against ranged units. They do take a lot of damage for them, and they kind of die fast on that kind of front. But that's why we're going to be going ahead and get ourselves some knights. The knights are very versatile. They have a lot of health. They don't deal a lot of damage, but they also take a lot of reduction from ranged attacks in general. So they can hold back the enemy very effectively. So let's start off the knight because we are gone through all of our gold. And apparently my English capabilities tonight are absolutely just out the window. We are out of gold. <laughs> absolutely holding back. The, the north side looks like it's already in trouble. I kind of want to see if I can help out the south side. Now remember, my king can't attack anyone. It doesn't have an ability to go ahead and deal any damage. But I can maybe take a hit or two and kind of push the ogres out of the way. <laughs> I mean, it kind of works. It kind of works. I'm going to take out that last ogre, please. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Get him. I'm going to take my knights and go up to the north. Come on, come on. Go help them, go help them. Protect our buildings. We are going after the bonus score of 5,000 points. And the best way to get the most of our score is to make sure that no buildings get destroyed. You get a better score every night for how many buildings, or rather a percentage of buildings that have survived your attack. Come on, get them out. Hey, excuse me, knights, excuse me, get back up here. Don't you see the, these guys are being attacked in the middle of a battle? It's, go help them. Late to the party. Late to the party, Mr. Fred, if that is your real name. Just strut along real slow like, okay, I see how it is. Okay, so we have 15 archers attacking from the north. We have 15 cavalry from the south, and we have 15 aerial units. Ooh, and aerial units coming from the south. Okay, so because we have ourselves spearmen, that's going to be really good against the knights. Like we were saying earlier, they're really good for slowing down fast enemies. And well, cavalry kind of are the fast enemies. We have 15 archers on the north side. That's going to be really good for the knights because like we were saying before, really good reduction against ranged units. So to take care of the 15 air units. So to start off with, I think I'm going to want, I kind of want the longbow archers, but I also kind of want the hunters. I mean, they're fast and effective monsters. I, I mean, I mean, I, I, ooh, the choices, the choices, the choices. I want to go hunters. I will do hunters because they're really good against monsters. If we're going to need the defense against ranged units, or rather not the range, against the flying units, just go ahead and spread them out just a tiny bit. Make sure that none of them get behind us and go ahead and get like behind our lines. We are prepared. Now, how well are these knights going to do up here on the north side? Oh, yeah, they're doing perfect. Like they, yeah, they don't need any help at all. They're taking out the crossbowmen like they're nothing. What about here on the south side? How are we doing with these flying units? Yeah, doing great. They're holding back everybody. Now remember, these are just the first couple of rounds. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Archers, get up here. Get up here. Start defending this. Yeah, don't let them get past you. Excuse me. Thank you. Like, well, you, this is why I spread you out and you still have the incapability to go ahead and take them out before they get to our keep. I see how it is. Fine. So we have ourselves 13 gold. So we have 75% health and self-healing. Okay, so I'll stay a lot alive a little bit longer. Not that it's really that important since I don't deal damage. Okay, and we also get 75% attack damage output. So what's even the point of the upgrade? They just give me a useless upgrade for the keep. Fine, I see how it is. They just want to give me a useless upgrade. Cool, great. Well, fine, to start off with, then we will use the rest of our six gold to buy ourselves a hero. We can have our boy riding a giant lizard. The lizard attacks, the archer attacks. I mean, plus, what's, what's not to love about a lizard boy? I mean, look, look at this thing. It's adorable. Him and all his two-tone white colors of... I, I, the lizards are usually green, right? Well, we are in a snowy terrain, so I guess I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain too much. Do we want to kind of separate them a little bit? I mean, not really, not really. I'll go ahead and just kind of conglomerate them all in this one kind of spot. I can probably put one extra archer over there, take one archer, put on the south side, and we are prepared. We have ourselves completely set up on all three sides. Let's go. I'm gonna take a look at this north side. It's kind of the most underwhelmed. It's kind of the most under like under defended in general. 
we have a fire archer they're doing good some splash damage but that is definitely going to crash down that north side is not going to hold the south side is not going to hold both of my sides are not going to hold i'm going to take my lizard archer you need to go defend this right now go ahead and hold your ground come on come on lizard archer lizard archer do your job do your job lizard archer <laughs> take out all the other archers um the north side that i guess that's fine the, the units are funneling as they respawn Oh, yeah, the Lizard Archer is a god saver. It is an absolute lifesaver. It is holding back the enemy perfectly. Superb, superb Lizard Archer boy. And now it's just the north side left, and they've got that covered. There we go. Nice. It is getting progressively harder and harder here, though. It's it's getting a little bit harder in, in general, so we're going to do... We got to plan this up really ahead of time. Four of you will go in the north to, to defend against all those archers, because I think they've got that all on their own. They don't need any backup. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Give me these four of these swords and not that archer included with you. There we go. Now you'll go down the south side. They've got all of that completely covered for us. And with that being said, let's go ahead and take our pikemen. Do we want more archers? We want more pikemen. I kind of want... I want more pikemen. More pikemen is going to be the good choice here because now we can go ahead and hold off multiple fronts all at the same time. We have a lot of enemies coming on this side. Just take all of our fire archers. Take all of our huntermen at the same time as well. Right, we don't have any flying units. We have five of them attacking on this side, but not a lot of them that I need to worry about just yet. So start it. We have out of gold. We have everything spent. See how well this holds off on everything. I mean, we have our lizard boy on the south side. I want to give him a little bit of support. They're doing fine. He's doing fine. Actually, I'll move you over to this east side. There you go. And look at that. The lizard boy is actually taking out the flying units in the back. The lizard targets the support units in the back of the enemy line try to get them out of the way and he's doing a great job of it too because those aerial units do a lot of damage to us a lot more than you'd think oh the knights are doing perfect look go ahead and just take you guys you can probably join the fight down here why don't you yeah get in there get in there now it is going to be getting harder and harder so honestly i don't really know how we're going to defend against all this because oh my god look at that we have five on the left side 20 on the south side we have 20 on this side 20 on the other side and 20 on the north that is a lot of numbers i'm a little bit more worried about these 20 kind of roly polies on this right side Okay, you know, no, the pikemen are doing a great job and holding them back. They're slowing them down. The archers are doing good. We have some good range. Everyone's spread out. They are getting past a little bit, but I'm not too worried. They seem to be getting taken out before they get too far into our enemy lines. Excuse me. Excuse me. We got one of them right past. Okay, come on. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, we have actually a lot coming from this north side. Pikemen, pikemen, get up there. Get up there. That is a lot. Okay, uh... We're holding off. We're, we got the west side. Yeah, okay. We've got that covered. We've got it covered. Yeah. March in there, soldiers. Right into enemy fire. Yeah, don't let them shoot another shot. Way to go. Woo. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you know, honestly, this game is fun. Obviously, I do. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, I play it up a little bit for the fact that it is YouTube. I'm not going to be so not self-aware and cognizant of the fact that I am playing it up a little bit. But this game is fun. I enjoy it. I have lots of fun with it. It's, it's, it's a real joy to go ahead and just kind of play around with. But you know what? Starting off, we have ourselves 25 gold. Let's upgrade the keep and get our final upgrade. You know, we may as well because we have the last ability. Units will move 60% faster while you command them. Units can attack while you command them. So while I move around, they actually fire their, their bows off. They can fire off their, their, their manly weapons, whatever you need. Because before, they did not do that. Before, while I was commanding them, they could not fire at all. And plus, units are 20% stronger and more durable when set to the hold position. So now that means that when we take some of our archers here, we can actually set them in a hold position, try to deal even more damage. They'll be 20% stronger when I tell them to hold that position. Just stay right there, stick your ground, fire off at anything that's coming near you. That's where they're going to be dealing the most damage is right there. Now, we have 10 bombs coming on this north side, which I'm a little bit worried about. And by a little bit, I mean very worried about because those are very explosive. We have, I'm going to put my knights there in the front line because we have lots of archers coming on that inside. On top of that, we have 20 of these mouse boys. I mean, oh God, there's a lot happening here. So I want some of my swordsmen on the south side because they're not so strong. We have 20 to kind of like the snow dudes and 10 ogres coming in. We are quite actually, we are we are quite understaffed in terms of just like damage output. We need more units in general. I'm going to go ahead and spend four gold on making sure that we get these walls up because yeah, that uh, that's super important because we, uh, there is, I, I cannot stress enough. We have 10 bombs coming in. We don't want to lose any of our buildings. Oh no, don't blow up on the units. They blew up on the units. <laughs> they blew up directly on the pikemen.
A couple of the pikemen do come in and die on the attack, but they are slowing them down. Oh dear lord, there is a lot coming on the south side. Um, I, I, okay, I need my, I need my lizard boy to stay there. I need my lizard boy to stay there. I need him to take out the bombs. Take out the bomb. Take out the bomb. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Okay. Um. Hold your ground. I'll take out that bomb. Good. 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 Now I would need to get all of my units. All of my units. Please get to the chopper. Get over here. Get over here. Nice. Hold your ground, lizard boy. Hold your ground. Deal more damage with it. Don't let them destroy. Damn it. Don't let them destroy the barracks. We're losing score. We're losing points by the more buildings that we lose. No. No. Lizard boy, get out of there. Get out of there, lizard boy. <laughs> no. Hold your ground! Hold your ground! You've got this! Come on! Come on! Hold them back! They broke down the gate! They broke down the gate! We've got this! Just hold it! Hold it! They're they're being distracted on the south side a little bit. Yep, archers, everyone start rushing out. Kind of get your grounds out there. Hold them back. There we go. There you go. Come on. Don't let them any further. I think we've got this. I think we've got this. They oh boy, they broke down more than I would have liked. Um <laughs> they broke down quite a bit more than I would have liked. Light survived. 77% protected. Yeah, only 148 points for that. I'm gonna want a second lizard rider. I want I want a second lizard boy. I will put that directly in the way. <laughs> I will put that directly in the way. So if a bomb does get past, it's not gonna blow up our barracks immediately. Yeah, that should be good enough. Because the south side they have more time or they have less time to destroy the bombs before they get up to our front line. We're just gonna have to try. We're gonna have to try and just hope for the best. Get our get our boys up there, get them all prepared. The first bombs are getting taken care of. Very nice. Lizard boy is doing his job. Taking out the bombs on both angles. We still have that bomb coming in. Oh, and does manage to hit the gates. That is quite difficult. That is strong. Oh, because that's because the lizard boy is focusing on the ram. He's focusing on the battery ram first before he's focusing on the bombs. No, I need you to focus on the bombs. I, I need you guys to focus up on a lot of these right now. I need you to focus on everything. Uh, take out the bomb. Take out the bomb. Nice. We have one more coming in. Another bomb coming in. Please focus it. Focus it. Oh, damn it. No, they destroyed it. No, we're losing score. We're losing points by doing this. Okay, uh, there is a lot, but you know what? We should be fine. They're all going to burn from the fire archers. Yeah, a lot of the AOE damage. We have our lizard boys. Double lizard action. Double lizard action. <laughs> Come on. Okay, good. They, they defended it. Just barely. Just barely. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, this is the very final night, DigiDees. This is the night. This is like the... We got... We're 4,200. 4,200 points. We essentially just have to survive the night, and we should be able to live. All right. Now, we have everybody kind of gathered up here. So, on the north side, we have a lot of melee units kind of charging in. So, immediately, I'm going to go ahead and just actually put some of my fire archers right here. Because as they kind of all spawn up and get a big grouping of enemies, I want them to go ahead and just burn them away with a lot of AOE damage. But with that being said, I'm going to want take I'm going to take two of my swordsmen, put them on the front lines. We're going to take two of our pikemen, put them on the front lines. Now that is a very, very obviously <laughs> turning southern. That is very obviously not going to be strong enough to hold back the anime, but it'll have to do with the job. We'll take three of these kind of pikemen. We'll take two. We'll take two swords and we'll take one more pikemen. We'll take one more pikemen on this east side. Go ahead and hold back that river. And now we have a lot come on the south side. We have a lot of kind of, we have two bombs. We have battery rams. We have archers. We have ogres. We have a lot of essentially everything coming in from down there. I'm going to go ahead and put most of my forces right on that front line. This, this might be it. This is, I mean, this is going to have to be it. This is the final wave. We're going to try our absolute best, try to defend the best that we can against all this. This is going to be a struggle. So let's get started without any more, for, without any more words. Let's just get started. All right, so we're going to have to take a look at how all these sides are doing. The south side immediately got taken out with all those bombs. And that is a concern. A lot of these flying units. Oh my God. They are doing lots of damage to my, oh, the huntsmen are taking out almost immediately. And we have the south side is really starting to struggle. I need to, I need to hold my lizards there. I, okay, good. My melee units are starting to come over from that riverside. I guess they don't really need to defend that. It's not that important to them anymore, I suppose. It's, yeah, sure, that's fine. Just get rid of it. Um, They're really starting to focus in on that front barracks. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, uh, uh, my lizard boys, lizard boys, do the best that you can. Try to take out all the support units. They are doing an all right job. I need to take out these flying guys first. So if I can take out these flying units on the south side, I can go ahead and just kind of focus on the north. I need to go to the north. I need to focus up on this north side immediately. There is a lot that's happening. Surprisingly, they have not taken out the barracks in the very center. I can go ahead and kind of use that to my advantage. And I, yeah, never mind. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> I'm like, I could use that to my advantage, but not anymore. They are gone. They are dead. 
Oh god, they're starting to push in quite a bit. I'm gonna tell my lizard boys to hold the ground right there in the very center. I'm gonna go ahead and try to take some of the shots. I can go ahead and push these guys a little bit out of the way. It's not really working. It's kind of working. It's kind of working. Oh god, I'm dead. I'm dead. No, 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 no. Take them out. Take them out. Take them out. Lizard boys are doing the good job. Oh my god. Have we got this? Have we survived and hit with the dead king? <laughs> Did we survive? Oh, we have just barely survived victory. There we go. Pulling back the lizard boys. Have we reached a, a score of 5,000? Base of 4,500. Gold bonus of 20. Mutator bonus. No respawn. No. We did not reach a score of... of we did not reach a score of 5,000. I even had a previous high score of 4,600. We did not quite get there. But you know what? That is more than fine enough. We had lots of fun playing this map. My God. But hey, remember, this is only challenge two of the 15 different challenges that they have introduced to the game. This this is the mini modes kind of update that they've added to Thronefall because there are a whole bunch a whole bunch here if we take a look at the map they are all over the place bow and arrow we have stuff over in the desert lands of gold puzzle and tower defense and time flies and all that fun stuff so feel free to leave a comment down below on what one that you want to see the most we have like the lake monster we have Thronefall in the game itself we have stuff like the great wall a whole bunch of different choices they have around here so hey, keep an eye out for a lot of that new content that may be coming out here on the channel because I guarantee we're going to be doing more episodes on this game for the next couple of weeks and I've been having lots of fun playing so keep an eye out for all that, all that stuff. And look, I still don't really know how to do any of these outros because God knows I was rambling for way too long. But I appreciate you for checking out the video. Drop a like and all that fun stuff. Thank you, Digities. I, I still don't really know how to do any of these outros but there's one thing I can always promise you that I'll be able to see you guys in the next video. Thank you and bye bye Oh yeah, really, really killed it that time, Digital Dave. Really killed it that time. Yeah, that's a great job.